Rockmaker is not only a powerful tool for designing experiments, but it can also help you plan and manage your synchrotron trips. Synchrotron trip management in Rockmaker helps you stay on track by keeping all of your trip data in one place. From picking which pucks and doers you want to use, to virtually harvesting your crystals before you harvest the real ones, to storing all of your trip data in an easy-to-use report, Rockmaker makes it easy to plan the logistics of your synchrotron trip so that you can focus on its results. Let's take a quick look at how to manage our synchrotron trips in Rockmaker. Before you can send your crystals on a synchrotron trip, first you need to define your pucks and doers in Rockmaker, which you can do in the Crystal Container node on the Explorer. To create a new puck, put in a unique name in the barcode for your puck, then select the puck type. When you select your puck type, the pin count will appear automatically. Similarly, you can create a new doer by giving your doer a unique name and filling out the other fields as needed. Once you're done, save the changes. If you already have the beam time for an upcoming synchrotron trip, you can define it in Rockmaker now. Don't worry, you can save this step for later if you don't have any trips planned just yet. To create a new synchrotron trip, right-click the Synchrotron Trips node and select New Synchrotron Trip. You can rename the new synchrotron trip with the name of the synchrotron facility your crystals will be sent to for easier identification. Then select the data collection date for your synchrotron trip. The status field will change to open if the chosen date is in the future. The rest of the fields are optional, but you can use them to add some more detailed information about your trip if you like. Now it's time to virtually harvest your crystals in Rockmaker. This is the part where you mark crystals in Rockmaker that you will harvest later in your lab. Open the desired experiment and scroll through the drops to find the ones that contain crystals. And here is our first crystal. To harvest this crystal, go to the Images tab set and click the Harvest Crystal button. Draw a box around the crystal and the Crystal Definition window will appear. When you virtually harvest crystals in Rockmaker, you can assign them to a synchrotron trip, doer, and puck. Rockmaker automatically assigns the position of your crystal to an available pin in the selected puck. To see this pin location or modify it, click the icon next to the position field. In the graphic that appears, you can see which pins are available and move your crystal to any available pin. The other fields in this window are optional and allow you to make more detailed notes about your crystal if you wish. Let's harvest another crystal. Because you are harvesting from the same well, Rockmaker automatically assigns the second crystal to the same puck and doer that the first crystal is assigned to. So there you have it! Crystal harvesting in Rockmaker is that simple. And that's all you need for your synchrotron trip. You can review your harvest of crystals in the Assign Crystals panel that appears when you open your synchrotron trip. One of the most powerful tools in Rockmaker to help you manage your synchrotron trips is the Synchrotron Trip Report. You can save the report at any point during your trip management process as either a PDF or as an editable CSV file. You can print out the report after you virtually harvest your crystals in Rockmaker and use it as a guide to help you locate the actual crystals in your incubator. The report contains the complete experiment, plate, and well information for each crystal, making them easy to find. Should any of your crystals not make it through the harvesting process, you can easily update your crystal data in the editable CSV report and then upload that data into Rockmaker. You can also do this after you've collected your diffraction data. Add the data to your CSV synchrotron trip report and import it into Rockmaker. When you do, Rockmaker will automatically update all of the affected crystal records so that all of your data is accurate. To import your CSV report back into Rockmaker, Click the Import Crystal Data button on the Home tab and then select the relevant CSV file when the Import Crystal Data window appears. Ensure that all of your data is valid and can be read by Rockmaker by checking the Status row. Then click Import and all of the changes will be automatically implemented in Rockmaker. After you've imported your diffraction data, you can review it in the Assigned Crystals panel. You will see the list of all of the crystals that have been analyzed in this panel. Double-click any crystal from the list to open the Crystal Definition window and see the details of the diffraction data in the Synchrotron Result panel. Now that you have input the results of your Synchrotron Trip in Rockmaker, you can once again create a Synchrotron Trip report for your own records. The report now contains all of your trip results, in addition to all of the other data that was there before. And when you're ready to plan your next Synchrotron Trip, 
Make sure you clear the in-use checkboxes next to your pucks and doers so that you can reuse them. With Synchrotron Trip Management in Rockmaker, you'll be able to keep complete records of your Synchrotron Trips, allowing you to track your crystals every step of the way.